What's up, and yo, welcome back to another YouTube video. And today we are just doing anime news. So this is just anime news relating to all the new anime which is coming out soon. Um, because we have a lot on Crunchyroll posted all at the same time. So we have season two of Hariyama, The Missing Pieces, which is really good. I really enjoyed the first season. Um, the main guy reminds me of myself, um, and the main girl reminds me of my girlfriend. It is a show I watched with my girlfriend, and it is really good. Uh, and I do recommend you watch it, but season two is coming out. It does look like they're going to continue the story, but there is a missing piece. Maybe these two separate, drift apart, and then come back together. Maybe there is like a missing piece to their relationship, and they got to find that back, which is the spark. They've lost their spark, and they're gaining that spark back. The missing pieces, it looks like maybe school's out because of all the stuff that's around them. We have like comic books, photos, oranges. Maybe they're just learning to adult um, and the missing pieces and working out how to fit together being an adult. Then we have The Great Cleric, um, which looks like a hotel and it's just these guys uh, managing a hotel, working out uh, mysteries, solving puzzles of the people that stay at the hotel. Something a bit like Death Parade, uh, where they sort of work in the hotel, some mysteries around the hotel, um, and they're just absolutely working their ass off to keep this hotel running. Maybe something a little bit like the has-been hotel as well, where there's some problem customers and they have to work it all out. Um, and I don't know, it looks quite fun. It looks like it could be quite fun. The characters don't look too sort of exciting or pop out. They don't like stick out to me. They just look like some a couple of generic characters. Um, nothing too special, uh, but still, it's a good show, might be good. Um, I have high hopes for this. I, I hope it's good and isn't boring. Uh, but moving on to the next one, which is, am I really the strongest? This is another one of those, you die and get reincarnated one. He has probably died, reincarnated into a world where he is the strongest. And he, is, he doesn't really believe that he's the strongest. And he is learning how to control his powers because he is the strongest. And he is going to rule the kingdom behind him. Obviously with his two partners there in the background. Because um, it is like a harem anime. So he will be trying to work out how to use his powers. How this new world works. Pretty much the basic story of any other I died and got reincarnated into something new um, storyline. Uh, but... I'm not going to be fair, I'm not a fan of that storyline, it happens over and over again, it is very basic storyline, very predictable, um, and it's a very common anime trope, very common anime plotline, um, so, yeah. But moving on to the next one, we have BTS having their new anime called Bastions. This is a mix of live action and anime, where they will be live action and then go into anime as superheroes in this digital world. And they are the Bastions, they are the hero. This does remind me a little bit in similar art style to Miraculous Ladybug um, and Cat Noir, just with the three characters at the front. And I do believe those are three BTS members in anime form. So the BTS band are becoming superheroes in this new Bastions anime. I think that is quite cool and it is quite exciting as well. Their outfits, it's, their superhero outfits look really cool. I like the yellow one with the hood up, he reminds me of Miles. Um, just the outfit and the sort of leap of faith scene itself. Um, the blue one looks like a jock, like a bully that turns hero just because he's there. Um, and then we have the red one, which is just the sort of cool, stupid, quirky one on the side. We also have uh, another season of this. This is the second season of, um, I forgot his name. The Misfits of the Demon Academy, um, this is coming out soon. Um, I haven't watched it, because uh, I do believe this is season two. I haven't watched season one, but it does look quite cool. The Misfit of Demon Academy, obviously is gonna be the underdog, the one that no one likes, the loser, the not good kid, who turns into a really popular, really helpful, good kid that everyone likes. Um, it looks like he's gonna be from hero to villain arc, um, where he turns bad at the end, like, um, what is it called? Uh, that one on Netflix. I forget his name. Whatever. But uh, hero to villain story. I that's what it looks like. He looks like he has some uh, type of fighting uh, sort of love-hate relationship with this girl on screen here. 
Um, but quickly, just before I go, season two for Chainsaw Man has been announced. A movie for Chainsaw Man has been announced, and Demon Slayer season four has also been announced. So other than that, hope you enjoyed. See you on this one. Have a nice day. Bye.